on this episode of War. They're probably as strong as I am. With those big canine teeth, they will lay your muscle tissue right out and never have the use of your arm again. We don't know what we're getting into. Captive wolf hybrids are 11 times more likely to fatally maul a human than domestic dogs. Watch yourself, be safe, be safe. One time that you slip up, that's the end. Go, go. Everybody stay calm, put the baby in the house. Every year, real people are hurt, even killed, by exotic animals kept in captivity. My name is Scott Lowe. When there's a dangerous animal in trouble, I am the guy you call to move it somewhere safe and make sure nobody, not the animal, not the handlers, not innocent bystanders, get hurt along the way. I get calls from everywhere, government agencies, animal owners, and concerned citizens. But the story is always the same. A dangerous animal needs to be moved right away. I assemble a team of experts and then do whatever it takes to get that animal somewhere safe. Make no mistake, my team and the innocent animals are always at risk. Doing it right takes nerves of steel and skillful planning. So why do I do it? The reason I fight for these animals is because there's nobody else doing it. I just landed here in Grand Rapids, Michigan in the middle of winter. I got a call from a woman named Jennifer and her teenage son named Matt, and they have a snow macaque. Now that is a type of monkey that you see sitting around the Japanese hot springs in the middle of winter. The macaque's name is Bella, and when she reached sexual maturity, she basically fell in love with the husband, and in her head, he became her mate. The downside to that is Bella now views the wife and kids as a threat, and if given the chance, she would attack maim and possibly kill the other family members. She has escaped from her outdoor cage, tried to break into the house. She's broken windows, she's chased people, they've been trapped in the room, and they're very terrified of this monkey. But get this, in addition to the teenage son, Matt, there's also a set of twins and a set of triplets. So six kids and one wife, all equally hated by a very dangerous and aggressive macaque. Right now, I'm headed to the John Ball Zoo right here in Grand Rapids. I'm gonna meet their veterinarian, Dr. Bennett. We're gonna go over a plan for tomorrow for sedating Bella. Bella will be going to Born Free Primate Sanctuary in Southern Texas. But in order to cross state lines, she will need vaccinations, a blood draw, and a physical exam. She is way too dangerous to examine awake, so we have to sedate her. Hey, Dr. Bennett, I'm Scott. Scott, good to see you. Good to meet you. What are some of the risks for this family when you have this macaque? Old world monkeys herpes B virus, no human has ever survived this. Right. Uh, every, all nine cases in the United States, they've all ended up dead people. And the other biggie is uh, tuberculosis. And we have a reemergence of TB in the United States. Well, monkeys get TB just like people do, only they're much more sensitive to it. They can transmit it to the whole family. 80 to 90% of all macaques are infected with herpes B. It is harmless to monkeys, but it's fatal to humans. And then you know what I'm always telling people? This isn't a dog, this no. isn't a cat. They're probably as strong as I am. With those big canine teeth they have, the fang teeth, they will lay your muscle tissue right out. You may suffer nerve damage and never have the use of your arm again. It's serious business. So I wanna be in there, in and out as quick as possible, yeah. make sure we're safe, I wanna keep yeah. all those kids safe, and then you know we do wanna get this monkey safely to the sanctuary. Right. I'm borrowing a squeeze cage from the zoo. Yeah, here's the uh, squeeze okay. cage. Okay, squeeze cage, that looks like a pretty... A squeeze cage has a wall that collapses in to push the animal to one side of the cage so you can easily and safely inject a sedative. My plan is to have Bella trapped and waiting for the vet. It's my experience that you have a higher rate of success and it's much easier on the animal to have less strangers around when you're trying to catch them. Coming up. She's attacked me before. She just bangs on the windows trying to get to us. Okay, hang on a second. I have a feeling Dad's home. This was not part of the plan. I'm in Holton, Michigan. My mission is to get an incredibly aggressive macaque to a new home before she escapes again and attacks the family that owns her. Now it's time to go meet the family. And I definitely need to do a quick recon of Bella's cage, look for any problem areas before these situations occur tomorrow. Macaques can leap distances of up to 16 feet, so recapturing her if she escapes is something I don't even want to think about. 
Okay, I think this is it. I see corn crib cages, so let's go meet the family. Are you Matt? Yep. Okay, I'm Scott. Scott. Yep. Right. Well, nice to meet you in person. Tell me about Bella. She's almost eight. Almost eight, okay. About four years old, she started getting really aggressive. Are you guys scared of her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's attacked me before. One time she got out, no one was here but me, and I started getting mean, and I started running away. And She just bangs on the windows trying to get to us. What do you guys do when she's loose? We yeah. check all the doors, make sure all the windows are shut, open the upstairs bathroom where there's no windows or anything, and <laughs> stay in the bathroom. This last time they were in the bathroom for about an hour and a half. She's truly dangerous. She could really, Extreme. really, really hurt someone. It's not if they're going to attack, it's when they're going to attack. They know they have to do this, and they have to do it now before someone gets hurt. What's your deal with your dad and the monkey? He's had her for a long time, so he loves her. He doesn't want to get rid of her. So I think the only way we're going to be able to do this is doing it without him here. And I think at this point, for the safety of the family, I just have to do it. There's no other option. I will be here tomorrow whenever you guys tell me it's clear. After just talking to these guys, they want to do the right thing. So once I get Bella and get her safely out of here, I really trust that they'll be able to sort things out. And I know the wife and kids will make it right with the husband. Japanese snow macaques can survive in temperatures that drop to 15 below zero. So this Michigan weather is not an issue for Bella. You can see her through there. I see some shagginess in there. Bella, come here, Bella. Hey, Bella. What's up, Bella? Are we able to shut that and lock her in there? Yep, we just slide that over. That'll lock her in there. And how secure is that board? She, never she can't she's get never, out of there. Okay. So the way you guys described her, that you know she's usually much more active than this, I was, mm -hmm. I was kind of expecting her to come out and get on the bars and, and shake them. This is not her normal behavior at all. She knows something's up. She's bent that all out, all those welds she's broke up there. Macaques have a larger brain than other monkeys. That gives them the mental capacity to move their hands and fingers with almost human-like dexterity. There is no way for me to give her what she needs, what she deserves. And had I realized this from the beginning, you know, it's so sad. I'm. I mean, it sucks, doesn't it? I mean, they, did, they didn't tell you that No. when, this, when this, you got her. This breeder told us she's going to be happy. She's going to be part of your family. We love animals. In the wild, macaques live in troops, the size of which can range from 20 to nearly 100. So living alone is just not something that Belle is equipped to deal with. You can't take the place of, of a dozen other monkeys. So many people think monkeys are cool, and they are, but in the wild. Well, we're going to fix it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. All right. And then if you guys call me in the morning, I'll be here as quick as I can. OK. So it's about 7.30. I've talked to the family already this morning, and the father has left for the day um, as planned. Without him here, this family is my responsibility to keep safe. I am taking control of the situation. No one's going to get bit today. No monkeys are escaping. All right, I'm back. Morning. Morning. How you guys feeling? Good morning. Yeah, how are you? Good, good. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. OK, I'm going to grab the squeeze cage out of the truck over there. You want to grab some snacks or something? We can yeah. try to lure her in, and, right. and let's try to get this started. All right. OK, okay. I'll good. meet you right out here. All, All right. right. Cool. 